Hello Libra, thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment this reading resonates. With that being said, also if you guys are interested in these flowers, um, this came from a company called Rose Forever. I mean, their flowers are awesome. I still have my previous set and they're in great condition. So I will put that information in the description box if you guys are interested. All right, spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Libra? Messages for a sign of Libra, please and thank you. Messages for a sign of Libra. Okay, so we have harmony. I'm definitely getting that this, in, this is in regards to love for someone strongly here. I'm also getting the energy of someone like assessing the relationships in their life and really deciding what relationships benefit them in a healthy way and what relationships do not. And they're in the process of clearing away all the relationships that do not serve their highest purpose here. It looks like you're manifesting a, a really beautiful connection here if you haven't already met this person. The challenge is spiritual strength. I'm getting someone um, could feel a little lonely at this time as well. Um, so it's it's been difficult for you to remain strong as you've been in the process of manifesting your divine counterpart. Intuition. Your advice is triumph. Foundation and achievements. I definitely am getting this energy of you being advised to like take the lead on the situation here. Um, and that's what's going to bring you out victorious in a particular situation. You know, I really am getting like whoever you're manifesting in your life, like the two of you are already like in tune with one another. Like you guys can sense um, each other's emotions or energy here. Let's see. Let's dive a little deeper into this. I definitely am seeing like the opportunity presenting itself for the two of you to uh, communicate with one another or to see each other. Yeah, we have the seven of wands here. Um, and the three of swords. So... You know, this is why I'm going back to the message of someone here, like assessing the relationships in their life, because I'm really getting like someone who has been betrayed by several people here. Um, like you've been the scapegoat in a lot of situations um, and been, you've been disappointed in a lot of uh, relationships just in general that has left you heartbroken, hurt. Um, I am getting that you're the type person, like you always take other people's uh, feelings into consideration, but at the same point, it seems like your feelings are always like never considered in the situation. I definitely am getting like uh, some of you guys, this could have been a work uh, situation, family, friends, where I feel like you were intentionally isolated. People are, were intentionally doing things not to make you feel not so great about yourself here. And that's why it's important for you to like be in peaceful connections because of the connections or the situations you are either experiencing or you've had to experience. And it's taking you some time to heal. So I'm really getting like out of these situations, it was hard for you to like realize like how you are being strengthened in these type of connections and these type of relationships here. It was hard for you to see the positive um, spiritually in these situations or to view it from a spiritual aspect because you just felt heartbroken. You felt, you know, really hurt by these situations. Yeah, keeping your hope during these difficult times. 
Seven of Pentacles, I'm definitely getting that you are a hard worker. Whatever you dedicate yourself to, you put your all into it. And that's where like your blessings are coming in because you've been working hard towards like improving your life and building a beautiful life for yourself. And you're about to reap those rewards. But I'm definitely getting that it's been difficult for you to remain strong or to at least understand the reason why you've been going through certain things. It's difficult for you to like trust in the universe, to trust that this is all serving your higher purpose. It's, it's been difficult for you to trust in that. So because with the star energy showing up in your challenge position, this is like you struggling to keep the hope alive. I'm really getting like someone questioning a lot of things. Ultimately, because I definitely am getting it's like you'll still find times where like it's hard for you to sleep at night or you find your fears getting the best of you. But I'm definitely getting like you learning to trust uh, your intuition more, to trust your uh, spirit guides more, to trust the divine, the universe more in, uh, in regards to where they are leading you. But I definitely see like you still struggling to trust and to believe, to have hope in certain situations. But I definitely see like you learning to balance it all out better. Like you learning to handle things a lot better than uh, the way you handled it in the past. And you being more conscious about what you give your energy towards, this is what's bringing you towards a lot of success here. Yes, it's, it's definitely time. So they're trying to get you out of this sorrow and grief energy. I'm definitely getting this energy of someone who's dealing with uh, some sort of loss. Whether it's in regards to like you losing someone or you losing, it's, it's some sort of loss here that has like really affected you energetically. Um, but they're wanting you to get back out there to kick back into uh, action here because you're about to step into like some level of success for yourself where you feel very victorious. You're really happy with what you have achieved. Yeah, I definitely see major accomplishments here and you being extremely confident about yourself. And the thing is, it's like you accomplishing one thing is leading you to another. But I am definitely getting like, I'm also getting like a message for someone like uh, you could have experienced a lot of like um, abuse like during a child or you just like were talked down so you didn't get the love that you deserve some of you guys could have grew up in an extremely poor uh family where your family didn't have much and you were never able to really spoil yourself do much for yourself you weren't able to like do certain things that you enjoy and i definitely see like you reaching the place where you're able to do all that where like you're able to travel you're able to buy yourself the things that you really love um, like splurging on yourself, just like really spoiling yourself and making yourself feel extremely good here. But I'm definitely getting like, this is like pertaining to someone like you weren't able to experience certain things as a child. And now as adult, like you're able to like explore the world, like, cause it's like, you're able to like explore everything that you weren't able to when you were younger. So I definitely am uh, getting like this energy of you feeling, <laughs> I'm definitely getting this energy of you feeling like more confident in your ability to make certain things happen because it looks like you'll be accomplishing something major here. And the moment you accomplish that, you're going to have more faith in yourself, more faith in your ability to make other things happen. This is going to place more work on you. I'm definitely getting it's like, um, you may be a little stressed out with all you have going on. Um, or just trying to figure out how to like make more things happen. But ultimately, you will come out extremely successful and extremely happy and proud with everything you've built. You got the Ten of Pentacles. That's what you're leading towards. Just be mindful that you don't isolate yourself to the point where it's like you have everything financially and material um, in the material realm, but you don't have, you know any sort of companionship uh, 
Okay, messages for the Libras who are already in a relationship. Messages for the Libras who are already in a relationship, please and thank you. Oh, so we have Emperor. So uh, it looks like you guys, whoever you are, you're in extremely, uh, you're in an extremely powerful position. Like you're your own boss or you're like the boss, uh, the CEO, you guys, like someone here could have like PhD, uh, master's, doctor's degree. I don't know, but it looks like you got it going on. Like you're the emperor of your empire. You're very successful. You have a lot going on for yourself. You're a traditional type of person as well. Some of y'all may struggle with expressing yourself romantically. I mean, take it as it resonates unless this is your person, but it's definitely showing up in your energy. So um, I'm definitely getting that you're, you're a hopeless romantic, but it looks like you struggle to um, show that. Your person feels left out in the cold by you. So some of you guys may not be expressing yourself romantically and it makes your person feel like, um, I guess it's, it's almost like you make them feel like you're pushing them away or they feel like you have pushed them away because they kind of like they're wondering, they're, they're wondering a lot. Um, right now they feel heartbroken about this situation. So I don't know. It looks like, have you guys separated? Because it looks like this person is like wanting you to welcome them back in. But the crazy part is, is that this is showing up in your relationship. So it's like, I don't know if you guys have recently separated or you're on the verge of separating here. But this person is like wondering what's going on with you. What do you want? They're feeling heartbroken about all that's going on. I'm really getting it's like because you're in this emperor energy, you're a very traditional type of person. So it's like to some degree, I feel like this person did not live up to your expectations. Like you feel disappointed by this person. But the thing is, like the emperor is not a cold person to me. He's a very understanding individual. He has experienced a lot in life. So I don't see like this being like you just pushing this person away for no reason because I'm really getting the situation where you've given this person multiple chances to correct something or to make things right. And it seems like they're continuing to make the same mistake or to do the same thing that's upsetting you and you're kind of fed up with it. So I don't know. I am kind of getting like immaturity out of this person's energy because you're showing up as the emperor and I'm not getting that this person's like matching your energy at all. Um, now I see a specific situation because I don't like this ending. Some of you guys could actually be married and you guys are on the on the verge of a divorce here. But I see someone being extremely strategic about their next move. It looks like some sort of message will be received that's going to make someone feel a wreck, like an emotional wreck. So some sort of disappointing news is someone's about to receive some, uh, someone is about to receive some sort of disappointing news. I don't see this connection going anywhere. I definitely see like a con um this connection coming to an end very shortly here. And it looks that like that's something that you are like, you're the one that's calling the shots here because it looks like your person is waiting to see what you're going to do next. And it looks like you're trying to be extremely strategic about your next move. I don't see it going, uh, this connection going anywhere. Let's get your advice. What's the advice for Libra? What's this? What is the advice for Libra? Yeah, they're saying that it's time for you to have a new beginning here with the full and the Ace of Pentacles. You never want to ace um, pertaining to uh, a relationship that you've been in. If it's a fairly new connection, then it's fine. 
But whenever an ace shows up in a connection, then it lets me know that there's a new beginning that's taking place or there's something better that's coming in for you. So it looks like there's a more promising connection coming in for you. Some of you guys may already be aware of this. And with the full energy, this is something that you're being guided to take a leap of faith towards. So they're wanting you to release the baggage of the past and to go towards something new that's more promising with the Ace of Pentacles here. Okay, let's see. Messages in regards to the Libras who are in separation from their person. Messages in regards to the Libras who are in separation. Libras in separation. Okay. So this person is planning on coming towards you to make a serious commitment here. So it looks like they're kind of going back and forth in their head right now. Whether they should like test this out, whether they should really come towards you or not. How does this person feel? So they feel like you're being a little cold and distant, but despite the way that you're acting, this person is still hopeful about this connection here. What's the most likely outcome? What's the most likely outcome? Um, I see you getting what you want. Um, I definitely see you making this person like put the work in into this connection. I don't see like you rushing to be in a relationship with this person. So if they're coming in and trying to like push you towards a committed relationship, I don't see you going for it because I see you keeping your options open here. It looks like you'll have a lot of options being presented to you. And you just want to make sure that you get your wish fulfillment this time around because it looks like you've been dis <clears throat> you've been disappointed several times when it comes to love. So I definitely see them coming back towards you, but they're not going to be the only option that you have. Not, not <laughs> good Lord. They're not going to be the only option that you have. And I also don't see like you wanting them to be the only option that you have. Okay, messages messages in regards to my single Libras. Messages in regards to my single Libras. Okay. Um, so it looks like you have a secret admirer coming in very shortly here. Someone who's abused you as someone who's being someone who views you as being extremely confident, attractive as well. Some of you guys could like to work out too. Um, but this is someone that you will build like a strong bond with, a strong connection with. Um, it looks like this person will be extremely focused on you as well. But you know what? Like the energy that they see you in is that like they see you as someone who's extremely confident um, about yourself. Like you're a go-getter here. Um, you go after what you want. But they also see like... The way they view you is that you don't really take people's feelings into consideration. Like you go after what you want and you don't care if you have to knock someone over to get what you want. Like that's the type of energy that they see you in. And again, this is someone new. But at the same point, like it's not stopping this person. It looks more than likely like they might find that attractive. I don't know. But that's just like the way they kind of see you as like someone who's like really go driven. Like you go after what you want and you don't care like how you have to get it. And that may not be like who you are, but that's just like how they're perceiving you. So I don't know. I'm really getting like this person does match your energy, but they're a little intimidated by you when they come in. What's the most likely outcome? I feel like the the next connection coming in uh, for you, Libra, is someone that like you'll have such such a strong bond with, like energetically, like you feel a strong attachment to this person, and it's gonna make you feel a little odd because it's like, why? Where do I know this person from? Like, where is? It's gonna make you begin to ask a lot of questions, like. 
why do I feel this way about this person? I don't even know them. Like, I feel like I've known them forever. Because I'm definitely getting like, you just automatically have this strong attachment to this person. It's just going to feel like weird to you. I do see a happy ending in this connection. I definitely feel like quite possibly you could be running into like twin flame energy here or soulmate. Someone that you could have shared a previous lifetime with. But um, I definitely am getting like a lot of mystery surrounding this. And it's only because you're going to be questioning like, why do you feel so strongly about this person when you barely know them? But ultimately, I do see you getting the ten of, uh, ten of cups out of this relationship. So feeling truly blessed and happy to have this person part of your life. Okay, messages regarding the person that Libra is crushing on. Messages regarding the person that Libra is crushing on, please and thank you. Ego, page of fire. I'm getting that this person is extremely goal driven. I wonder if, hmm, it looks like this person is really excited about this connection, but they're allowing their fears to get in the way of this. Quite possibly you could run into this person at like some sort of event. I am getting there extremely confident about themselves. But, like, they're really, they are really excited about this. But their fears are getting the best of them. So they're not pursuing this. Let's see. What are the most likely actions uh, Libra can expect from this person? What actions can they expect? Renewal. Eight of Cups. Give me more about the Eight of Cups. You know, to be honest, Libra, I don't see this person taking action towards you. It looks like they have a lot going on in their life. Like with renewal here, they're in the process of uh, reflection, evaluating what's going on in their life. And there are certain things that they're needing to let go of. And I'm really getting like emotionally here. It looks like they have like some suppressed emotions that they're currently in the process of dealing with. Uh, coming face to face with in order to heal um because with the seven of wands like i see this person it's like they're rising to the occasion but not in regards to this relationship so they're kind of like giving insight as to what's going on in this person's life because i see them taking a stand for themselves Meaning, like, if they've been struggling with, like, drinking or and i'm not saying because i'm not getting that they struggle with drinking but I'm definitely getting like they have some spiritual warfare going on here internally that they're currently dealing with. And they're in the process of taking a stand for themselves in order to overcome something that they've been dealing with. What's the most likely outcome? So that's where the ego is coming in, where they have some toxic behaviors that they're in the process of dealing with. That's really blocking them from focusing on love at this time. So it's not that they're not interested in this connection, but this person realized that there are things that they have to deal with internally before they can give towards any sort of connection. What's the most likely outcome of this relationship? Please and thank you. What's the most likely outcome? Give me um, one more. Confirm uh, the tower. Confirm the tower. Okay, so it look, and then the four of wands continue. It it keeps wanting to pop out as I'm like shuffling the cards. So I definitely see like this you or this person making the decision. Someone is going to make a decision that's going to shock the foundation of this connection. And it looks like it's a very promising um, offer that's about to be made because we're starting off with the Ace of Pentacles. So this lets me know that it's leading towards a long term relationship. It's a very promising connection that's taking place. But it looks like someone is in the process of dealing with some emotional baggage that they some emotional baggage that they need to release before they entertain a relationship, which is right. 
They're doing the right thing. Okay, messages in regards to new love. New love for Libra. New love for Libra. Please and thank you. Okay, justice, which is your energy. The Four of Wands wants to keep popping out for you guys. It looks like you have a healthy connection coming towards you. One that's going to bring a lot of happiness and joy into your life. You have all these major arcana cards coming towards you. And then behind it all, we have the Two of Cups here. So I definitely get that you're in the process of manifesting like a wonderful relationship. That one that's going to make you extremely happy. It won't be a coincidence. You'll know that it's not a coincidence that you met this person, you ran into this person, you know that this is destined and something that is meant to be. I definitely am getting like the two of you will match each other's energy very well. Like you'll feel very comfortable around this person. And this is someone that's going to do right by you, someone who's going to treat you right. Um, so it looks like you're getting like good karma in regards to love. So I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. But with that being said, you all take care.